everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shade. So before we start, I just want to say happy 4th of July to all you guys out there. Uh, stay safe. Uh, try to keep the uh, fireworks up in the air to minimum and I uh, hope you guys stay out of jail. <laughs> uh, so anyways, all right, uh, let's get into a shave, guys. I'm pretty stoked to try uh, to get finally get a chance to use this on camera. I mean, they, they smell, they smell uh, identically the same, but just haven't had the chance to put it on camera. Um, they are products I've used in the past. Um, I just thought uh, this would be fit to use for 4th of July, uh, given that I haven't, haven't had a chance to do a uh, shave on the road, been really backed up, well not backed up, but been in a hurry uh, to get these loads knocked out on time to be home for 4th of July. So thankfully, I'm home and I made it here. Uh, got a chance to take my wife and daughter on the road with me. So pretty cool, pretty stoked with that. Uh, been pretty hectic, uh, up, going up and down, trying to you know haul ass to get these hours knocked out before I ran out of hours. Um, but yeah, been pretty hectic, but thankfully we're home and I get to knock out a 4th of July shave for you guys. So without further ado, <clears throat> let's get into it here. So we're gonna do a fine uh, 4th of July shave. So here you guys go. Gonna get it in with Fine American Blend. Red, white, and blue. I do have my puck blooming here on the side in my fine accoutrements bowl. We're gonna be using the fine angel hair knot. There you guys go. You don't need to bloom it, it's, it's uh, or you don't need to, yeah, you don't need to uh, soak it or bloom it. It's synthetic, but I just like to keep it warm. Um, Gonna go in with uh, Fine American Blend, the uh, Splash. And this is a new product I'm gonna be trying out for the first time, but they do smell identical. The Fine American Blend Balm. And the EDT. So there you guys go. And Razor of Choice, given it's made in the good US of A. There you guys go. USA May Rex Ambassador brought to you from Razor Emporium, uh, Matt Pisarsic. Uh, um, check him out. Um, and our blades here. Uh, I was talking to Tony Tony uh, about these blades. Uh, these blades are a five uh, five pack tuck or a dispensary. Um, I did post these up a while back. Um, if I get a chance, I'll post them up again. If I if I can if I can remember and even find the picture. I showed him that uh, these, from what I from what I can understand, um, if the Persona uh, packs have that little yellow strip at the bottom, I think it's on the bottom on the top, it's the uh, Persona Lab Blues. So uh, this these came in a, um, obviously in a cardboard, uh, you know, a piece, I guess, I don't know what you would call it. Um, and it did have the yellow strip on it. So I'm going with the Persona Lab Blues. So from what I can get, um, if anyone else got some information out there, I might be wrong. Uh, please correct me. Let me know. Uh, give me some information. Uh, if you find any information out there that's uh, um, valuable uh, to uh, let me know for sure if these are Lab Blues or Med Preps. Um, I was told the MetPreps don't have the old strip, so um, I'm just going on based on from what I was told and from what I know and the research that I looked up. Um, so uh, I'm going to be trying out three blades in this Rex Ambassador since it really hasn't done, done much for me through the lower settings. The best setting I got from it was a setting six. So um, just making sure the camera's rolling. Uh, I'm going to be running a um, Persona Lab blue, it, uh, blue through it today. I'm going to do a Feather will be the next um or it might the next one might be a, a perma sharp so those three and then i'll get into doing a kai um in, in the future if, if i still have this razor here uh, to try out so um but if you're watching it let me know if that's okay with you um he did let me know uh not not to rush it that there he there's no rush in getting the razor back so uh we'll just go with that and let me know buddy um if that's cool with you if not i can send it right back asap all right guys <clears throat> Let me load the razor. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a brand new blade out of there. So how are you guys been doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic one. I'm doing great. Like I said, I'm home. Made it home for the July. 
I took my family with me just in case I wasn't gonna make it back. Um, so that way, um, making sure that that's down. Uh, so that way, if I didn't make it back, we would uh, basically would we be uh, popping off um, um, fireworks in uh, Arizona legally. All right, so we're gonna do. Let's go with setting four to see, you know, just that's my average setting on almost any razor, four or three. So um, there you guys go, setting four. <clears throat> Set that off to the side. <clears throat> Let me get my stuff ready here. Get some stuff out of the way. All right, so let me uh, put some uh, hot water to the face. I just now got out the shower. I didn't get a damn haircut on time. I, was, I didn't get here as quick as I thought I was going to get here. So I'll be wearing my hat out for the uh, barbecue events. i um, going to go have some barbecue with the in-laws. Uh, so let me go ahead. Dump this out. I'm going to go ahead and throw my bloom water into my mug. Got my mug and my soap here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start lathering up this puck. There you guys, there's my puck there. Yeah, so I'm gonna go have some barbecue with the in-laws. I was hoping to get home a little earlier so I can get my hair cut, but that wasn't the case. So I'm gonna try to knock this out as quick as possible because I am rushed for time here. It's probably around uh, three o'clock in the afternoon on the 4th here, given 4th of July, right? And I do have, uh, I don't know, four days of growth, I believe. All right, and this thing, this thing blows up in it real quick, so. I'm not even stressed for that. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the puck out. Take the remaining off, put it down into my bowl. This stuff is just goopy. I love the way this stuff works. It's really, really slick, guys. Set this off to the side so that it could dry. And I'm gonna just start working up my lather here until I get to the perfection consistency that I enjoy. Yeah, so um, like I said, I'm doing great. Hope you guys are having a good one. So um, I didn't make it to the barber, but just throw the hat on. So just uh, whipping it back and forth like this, just to aerate it. You really don't need any texture down at the bowl. I've proved that to you guys before. I don't see any difference in it. Um, I just, the way that I use it, it's just the way that I like it and it's been working for me. So, I mean, that's pretty good right there. Add a little bit more water. The more you whip it, the more creamier it gets. You don't need to mash down on it at all. The key is whipping back and forth is how you get that creamy lather, see? There you guys go. All right, so I got that how I want it. There you guys go. Look at that sheen on that. All right. So I'm gonna go add the bloom water 
to the beard. Fling and lather already. Got no time to be messing with leather right now. I gotta go. All right, first pass with the green. Yeah, right away. That's not gonna work. Yeah, uh, th I'm gonna have to go to setting six. Let's go to six and a half. and a half I guess right there yeah Believe it or not, this uh, blade doesn't feel as smooth as the other ones did. We'll see how it goes though. My stomach is rumbling. Now I was given this idea by uh, Tony Tony. If I put a sharper blade in that might be able to take advantage of the settings of the razor. needs to get in here. Give me a second, guys. All right, that's first pads on. I'll be back for the second. All right, guys. Back for pass two. And uh, we're going to do... Um, Let's try setting one. Let's let's just see what happens with setting one. I haven't tried it on setting one yet. At least I don't think so.
Let's see. Okay, this is its lowest setting. It's very hard to show this on camera because of the shininess. That's its low setting. I know that uh, setting setting one and setting six almost look alike, but this is the lowest setting. And uh, here we go. You know what? That worked. Wow, that worked really nice. Okay. Hmm. This seal. Not too bad. Okay. Next setting we'll do on uh, one and a half. Let's do one and a half. There you guys go. One and a, it's very hard to see here, guys. There's a two, there's one and a half. So let's see how this goes against the green. A little tuggy. This is one odd razor. Yeah, that's tuggy. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh... Let me try going up all the way at its max. Yeah, see, that doesn't feel tuggy. Hmm. Okay, let me put it back down to the lowest setting. Let's try this again. Nope. Hmm. That's weird. So the middle settings 
uh, feel tuggy, chattery. But setting one or setting point five. And setting six and a half feel um feel good. Okay, let me show you this. That right there was setting one and a half. Then we're gonna bump it up to Turn it, and now it's six and a half. See, so that's why they, they lo almost look similar. The dot that is, but this changes the aggression. Okay. Smooth. Okay. And I'm gonna lower it to the lower setting. Go to this side. Smooth. Now, I'm gonna try the middle setting, setting four is over here. Setting four, and then it feels funny. Mm -mm. Nope, no way in hell. Wow. That is freaking odd. Um, all right, anyways, uh, let's get to the shape. That is a, oh wow, that's crazy. Let me go on the high setting on the lift to see if uh, what that feels like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is crazy. That is insane. I, I don't even know what to say to that. All right, guys, I'm going to do my cleanup passes off camera because I would have wasted a lot of time. I'll be back. All right, guys, just did my cleanup pass off camera. Let me go ahead and put this out, and I'll touch on um, what I what I found on, um, on my cleanup pass. Okay. So, I had to use, there's some stinging. on the lip area. Trying to mess with the settings. Let me let this sit on my face meanwhile I explain. I did my cleanup passes. I tried to go through all the settings. Um, couldn't get through it. Um, it, it felt tuggy. Uh, no, let me, let me rephrase that. Remember when I was going up against the grain? And I was showing you that uh, the higher setting and low setting were working working great but when I try to uh, clean up uh, the setting one wasn't efficient enough because it was too mild so I went up on the setting and I couldn't do it the side here was okay but up against this part I couldn't the, the setting it just it, um, didn't work I actually took the blade out to see if it might have been a dodgy blade put it in as you can see there's no blade in there and I put it in my 20C. 
and I did my cleaning passes with the 20C and got through the shave. Um, that is a weird razor, uh, weird blade or a blade razor combination. But I don't believe it's any of that. I think it's my facial hair growth. It's just like bamboo. Uh, I've said it t many times before. It's like Chuck Norris growth. Um, it, it, it sucks. Let me rinse this off and I'll be back for the rest of the post. All right, guys. I just rinsed off the alum. Now let me get into the aftershave splash. Now, I don't mean to um, sound uh, stuck up or anything or toot my own horn um, or sound cocky or anyway. Um, but in reality, that's where. Um, Truly, that's where um, uh, experience, uh, wet shaving experience comes into play because you have to be able to tell the difference between efficiency and aggression and when something's just totally not right um, and not continuing with the shave. Sometimes when you see when I talk about a blade, it feels a little funny. Um, I go through the shave because I can. The shave, I can still get through the shave, but uh, in this circumstances, uh, uh, sadly, I did it off camera um, because I'm rushed rush for time. Rush for time, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> so that helps a lot having having experience and knowing what you're looking for. Because let me tell you what, guys. I just had a convers. I was I had a conversation a while back with uh, Tony. Tony. So this is the aftershave bomb. Had a, a conversation with Tony. Tony a while uh, some time some time back about how um, some people don't know how to tell the difference between aggression or something's aggressive or uh, efficient or mild or you know what have you and it, it scares people off um, it will scare other people off when they people talk about it um, And that's truly where experience and wet shaving comes into play because you know how to you can tell the difference between um, Between them And uh, Yeah, I've come to know When to stop when it changed things out um, when to um, do a double take on something that might not be okay. Um, I'm gonna go with the EDT. But, yeah. So next time you think something's aggressive or or um, efficient or something's wrong or before you badmouth something, make sure you uh, really know what what you're explaining because that can really damage and hurt a company. Um, so let me get into the shave here guys so i went in with fine uh american blend from fine accoutrements uh, lathered it up here in my fine accoutrements bowl there you go use the uh, fine stout synthetic angel hair knot and this is the puck here Went in with the splash aftershave bomb, or there you go. I was covering up the name. Um, the EDT went in with the Rex Ambassador, made in the good US of A, and Settings were all over the place, guys. Persona Lab Blues. And I went in, don't need to show this, but yeah, I went in with the 20C to do a cleanup pass. So that's my shape, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I'm rushed for time. I kind of rambled on a lot. I hope this video is not longer than I expected it to be. If it is, please forgive me um, for doing so. And thanks for joining me, guys. You guys have a happy, safe 4th of July. Do not drink and drive, guys, please. There's a lot of family and people out there. 
uh, who aren't aware of you driving that way. Um, so you, I don't recommend it. Try not to do it, guys. And uh, stay safe within fireworks, man. Really stay safe within fireworks. We don't need any more uh, um, wildfires out in the area here in California, especially because it's pretty crazy. And right now, around the time, everything is a dry brush everywhere uh, that I can see. So, yeah, stay safe out there. Stay, stay safe out there again. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. If you guys like what you see, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon down at the bottom so that way you guys get my next future notifications whenever my new videos pop up so that way you guys don't mess up. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay safe out there. Later.